Hey everybody, it's James with Cold School, and I've got the uh, closed loop the, for the miniature sized air conditioner. Uh, I bled it out. It's easier instead of using a bleeder valve to just uh, so just drop the whole unit. I say the whole unit. Drop the coil in and let the water. There's water in there, and let the water pull in the inlet tube pointing out. Let it circulate, and as it's returned, no, I'm sorry, the other way around, L uh, take off the inlet tube and let the pump pump the water, and then as it, once it bleeds all the air out, while it's still running, you just engage the uh, return hose back to the valve, and uh, so I'll, I've got it on a little barrel plug here, so I'll just hook that up, and you can kind of hear it running. You can tell it's running when it hums a little louder. So you can actually uh, unplug this. This is a barrel plug. Unplug it and then drop this into the ice bucket full of ice. And then it's closed loop and then give it a minute for the ice to chill the copper tubing, which therefore chills the water going through. And then you just have whatever orientation you want on your uh, radiator holes. So I actually, let's do that. And this is going to look really crude, but I wanted to show you how easy it is. So let me unplug the barrel plug. And I'm going to grab the whole unit. It's pro I hope it don't come apart on me because nothing's clamped. Oops and literally move it over here and this is all, oops this is all one-handed here uh, that one goes over here Let's, this one goes over here this is really rude nothing i mean crude nothing's ready so believe it or not it's still closed loop and here's the uh, barrel plug on the tester and then I mean, it's that easy. You can take it out, put it in a bucket, bleed it, put it back in, or you can just build this unit on your uh, workbench and then drop it in. And uh, this I'm working on is a uh, open loop, but I'm uh, adding a secondary port to run through the side of the cooler. I had the whole the port there to run through another bulkhead, so you can run tubing through from the outside of the cooler into a five-gallon bucket or 48 quart ice chest or something larger i did a test earlier on the on a uh, open loop version just uh just open loop not closed loop and the uh ice melted at about 15 minutes and you remind you this is a little tiny bucket full of ice lasted 15 minutes cooled for at least another 15 so i was uh, intermittently running it on high and then medium and then low and uh, the faster you run your fan, the more hot air you're blowing or pulling through the radiators. So that's going to uh, melt the ice or, you know, try to heat the water uh, more the higher you run it. So you could probably run this little open, uh, open loop unit probably on that little bucket of ice without adding. And then I'm also going to have a drain plug uh, diverter too. So you can uh, just run it indefinitely by filling it with ice uh, or uh, using a larger cooler for a backup external uh, ice storage tank. But um, you could run this little, t the little nine quart without it being closed loop like this, but being open loop, you could on probably on medium you literally could run this for probably like in van life or something really small where you just want body cooling and not cooling the room you could easily run that probably uh 45 minutes to an hour i'd say if you put it on low to medium you could get an hour out of that and that's just a little tiny that's no extra inst insulation no extra modifications, uh, not slowing down the water flow, which is another way you can uh, preserve your ice and, the, and lengthen the cooling time. And uh, so you could easily, without really going overboard, get an hour out of that little tiny thing. But like I said, I'm running uh, external ports uh, through bulkheads uh, like this. 
through the side of the cooler. And on the, I'm going to run a test on this little closed loop one. And since we're using the same size pump, the same size radiators, the same size fan, and just open loop versus closed loop, I'm going to run a test on this one now, or running closed loop uh, with the fan on this one. So that's what we got going on. Nine quart open loop versus closed loop. Uh, on low to medium, you can run this one for personal body cooling. And it was cold. It's just as cold as the big ones. And uh, run that for, I would say, about an hour on low to medium. Just blowing right on you. And that's without having a backup or anything. Um... And like I said, these are a lot of these designs are just crude to inspire your uh, imagination to go even further, or relocate different components and stuff like that. This is there's so much uh, ice extension and temperature management that you can do on any of these. But uh, I'm going to run a test directly on uh, just this crude closed loop version here. So. All right, let's go do it. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.